Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and right here behind me I'm gonna have a Honda Odyssey. I'm gonna show you guys some cool hidden features and functions you may not be aware of. So let's get some tips and tricks done for the Honda Odyssey now. All right, so everyone knows about the key fob trick, right? On those really hot summer days, you're out there, you're about to run out to the car, the sun's been beating down the vehicle now. Wouldn't it be nice to just let it air off for a moment before you get out there, let the wind blow all that hot, steamy air out? Well, you can, all right here with the key fob. All you have to do is hit lock, double tap unlock twice, and hold it on the second time, then watch everything roll down from that point. The windows, if you have it, the power moonroof, boom, it's all right there. Now you can also close all this stuff pretty nice and easy. You have a key right here in the fob. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Get this little switch here, slide that over, right? There we go, you get the key. You put it in the keyhole. Then it's a click, click and hold. Then watch everything roll up from that point. The windows, the moon rope, now everything's closed up as I change my mind. There we go. All right, so let's imagine you're out there at the drive through movie theater or out there enjoying the Christmas lights with friends and family right here in the Odyssey, all right? But you don't want to turn off the vehicle to turn off your daytime running lights. You want to keep the AC going or maybe even the heat going, okay? So you can stay warm and stay comfortable. There's a way you can turn off your daytime running lights without turning off the vehicle. Let me show you how to do those steps now. All right, so here we are right outside the Odyssey. As you can see, your daytime running lights are on. We're gonna jump right in the vehicle. I'm gonna show you the necessary steps to turn off your daytime running lights while the vehicle's running, okay? So let's jump it out of the wind. We'll jump right in here. Now you cannot turn off your daytime running lights when the car is in motion. Some states require if your vehicle has daytime running lights, it has to be on, okay? So you want to enable the electrical parking brake. Push that in, you can see it's on because you'll see a brake right down here. Your lights, your headlights might be on auto, whatever, turn those two off. And then shut off your vehicle. Turn it right back on. Everything's still on park. We haven't adjusted anything. We'll jump right out. Now you can see that your daytime running lights are off. All right, now to simply turn those right back on, it's gonna be super easy. All you have to do is turn off your electrical parking brake from there. Put your foot down on the brake. Pull that bad boy out. You see brake is off. We'll take a quick little look. There we go. Daytime running lights are right back on. All right, so here's another one is for you guys how to navigate between your trip A and trip B. So right now we're in a pre-owned 2022 Honda Odyssey. Let me show you guys how you can go from trip A to trip B. It used to be back then you can just turn this thing, you know, push it in and it goes from A to B. But that's gonna adjust your brightness pretty much of your driver's interface. What you're going to do is you're gonna come over here, make sure we're at home, and you're gonna navigate and select with this button right there. Or we're gonna scroll down to trip. Then you can see right here, hit enter to go between B and A. Then to reset that, you just click and hold that, and then boom, it's reset. There it is. All right, so let's say you guys are out and about driving around, you didn't pay attention to your gas tank right there, it just runs out of gas. You're like, oh man, I have a collapsible gas tank in the back. You know, you have a no longer $2 cap to worry about. It's a capless gas tank right there, so if you put that in there, it's gonna get stuck. Well, let me show you a little cool little emergency funnel so your collapsible nozzle will not get stuck in that gas right there. Open up the door right here. Right here off to the side. This pulls right out. There it is. And we'll try to do this one hand and get it on snapped out. And it slides right in for you guys. Just like that, okay? Now, the cool thing is you're funneling up and all that. These kids, when the car's unlocked, right, it's unlocked. 
the door won't open. This has to be closed for the door to open. That's the bonus right there for you guys. All right, now on selected trims, you also have the reverse tilt on your side mirrors, okay? So what that means, if you have a left or the right one selected, I'm just gonna select the left, then I put the vehicle into reverse. Your side mirror that you have selected tilts down, catches a little more of your blind spot down below, okay? Now if you don't want that to happen, all you have to do is push this into the center, then moves right back up, now it's off. So pretty nice and easy. Now let's say if it is still selected, once you put this into drive, so I'm like giving you guys motion sickness, it moves right back up to you as well, all right? So there we go. All right, this is gonna be an auto brake release here for you guys when you use the electrical parking brake. So as you push this in, right, then your electrical parking brake automatically comes on. You can see from right there. So if I don't have my seatbelt plug in, let's uh, take that out, and then I try to put it to drive, that's still gonna be on. I'm not gonna go anywhere. So you have to get in the habit of turning that off. Well, let's put this back in park. Let's say you have your seatbelt plug in, right? Electrical parking brake still on. Seatbelt's plugged in. I switch to drive. You can see right there, still says park. I step on the gas, then boom, it automatically releases from there. Now we can drive around and get out there to enjoy your day. All right, so I'm very, very forgetful sometimes. It happens quite a bit. Usually it's the easy little stuff too as well, okay? For example, let's say I'm out there doing some errands and then like I shot the car I got my key fob with me I shut the car door I walk away I get into the place as I'm getting supplies and I'm like second guessing myself did I lock my doors did I not and I have to get my key fob out of my pocket and just you know click click see if I can do it well wouldn't it be nice once you get away from the vehicle boom doors automatically lock you can and let me show you how to do it right now okay all right, so we got the vehicle on and running. We're gonna go to settings. You gotta make sure the vehicle's in park so you can go to your vehicle settings, all right? If it's not in park, it'll be phased out. Now we're gonna come down here to your keyless access setup, walk away auto lock, then we're gonna enable it. So there we go. So when you walk away with the key pump, it automatically locks the doors. You don't have to second guess, saving you time and giving you a peace of mind. Now if you don't like it, simply just disable it. Just go from there, okay? All right, do you guys know where the spare tire is located at in your Honda Odyssey? If not, I'm gonna show you right now so you guys will have that peace of mind just in case that event happens, all right? So right in here, we'll have this open right up. Next step is, let's remove these uh, all season mats, okay? There we go, all season mats are out of the way. Now right here in the center, you guys can see, you got this little cutout right down here below. Pull that up towards you and then boom. There is your spare tire you're gonna need. You may need to adjust your seats, your front seats too as well, so you can get that out in there, all right? Now, I, I know people love the safety features, but occasionally there are gonna be a few of you guys out there that don't like the safety features. A prime example is gonna be the adaptive cruise control. So I'm gonna be assuming you guys already know what the adaptive cruise control keeps you at a certain distance between you and the car in front of you. So as you have your cruise control enabled to this button right here, you can see that your adaptive cruise is available right there, okay? And then all you do is hit set, then adjust the speeds from there, and hit this button to select the distance between you and the car in front of you, right? Now let's say, for example, you just want standard cruise, no adaptive cruise control at all, just standard the old fashioned way, all right? All you have to do is super easy, just click and hold this button here, it beeps at you. Now standard cruise, you can see as a quick visual, it just has that right up there with no car. You click and hold that again, now it's adaptive cruise, it has a car in front of it, so you know the adaptive cruise is set from there. There we go. All right, so we just got done taking the family out for dinner, just kind of going out to the ball game, do whatever I do with the family, you know what I mean? So we're all running out to the car, I have the key fob with me, the doors are locked. Now, I put my hand on the handle right here, and then only the driver's side door locked. And the kids over here yanking on this, trying to get in, maybe the wipes on the other side. Wouldn't it be nice if once I put my hand on the handle, boom, all doors on back and locked? I can set it up. Let me show you how now. So if you guys guessed we're going to be over here at the test screen again, you are correct. Vehicle is in parked. We're going to select settings. Now from settings, we're going to select vehicle. From vehicle, we're going to come down to keyless access setup. From that way, and door unlock mode. 
and then boom, there we go. So now you can choose all doors, a driver's side door, or just the tailgate from that point. So if you have the key fob with you in your pocket, you have the tailgate, it will open and close to you as well if you have the first one selected there. So there it is, guys. Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video for tips and tricks for the Honda Odyssey. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, please feel free to show your support by hitting like. Consider subscribing. I'll keep the videos coming. Drop any comments down below. I'll do my best to keep up with you guys, all right? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.